fuck this game. Stop that. I applaud that you managed to hit me there. But on the ruins of the castle's ancient library, this site still retains a part of its original walls. It is a free blend of the original medieval Gothic and Neo Gothic. The church owes its name to the lineage of the Belmonts, heroes in the fight against the monsters of antiquity. Its bell rings each year in late April, uh, April to commemorate the sacrifice of the Brother of Light and its glorious. Wait.
Be careful. There is a tremendous power close to you. It's not the Acolyte, it's something else. Something I have not felt for. The Brotherhood of Light. Its force is affecting my abilities. I did not expect this. What the fuck is that? Aren't you lovely?
I'm Victor. Victor Belmont. Commander of the Brotherhood of Light. Protector of humanity. And the last of my illustrious bloodline. We thought you were dead. I'm immortal, warrior. Something you Belmont don't seem to understand. We're hiding people here who haven't already been infected. I don't know how much longer we can hang on. Not long. Take it. It's an antidote to the infection. Wait. Whose side are you on? I stand alone. You help me. Maybe I can help you. You are looking for the Acolytes, are you not? You know where they are? Not exactly. But I do know how we could flush them out. Follow me. To get away from the church. Follow me. We must continue. Following the destruction of the Brotherhood of Light by Dracula. The surviving members gathered to begin the search of a new leader to guide them. The last descendant of Simon Belmont. Over the following centuries, Bel Belmont's commanded the Brotherhood, awakening the return of the Prince of Darkness. Victor Belmont is, at this time, the last member of his illustrious lineage and the current leader of the Brotherhood. It is a position he has earned by proving he has the valour and honour necessary in the cause as well as complete devotion to safeguarding humanity's lives. Holy relics are in his power, carried by Gabriel in his fight against Lords of Shadow, which were collected following an endless search through the ruins of the castle. On this day, the destiny of mankind would depend on the most prosperous decision ever taken by the soldier of God, would be able to set aside his beliefs and prejudice for the good of humanity. Continue. Come on, it's this way. I can't do that. Must continue. Give me my wings back. The way out is right over here. Try to get over here. This way leads outside.
you nor the Brotherhood are going to get very far with this old antique. Zerbeck lost all trace of you. We feared you were destroyed. Disappointed. Look out! We're under attack! <laughs> Another Abaddon. Just looks like Abaddon to me. Demons keep up the scrub and arms never sold with their purple and bladder develop enough to transform to colossal horn monsters. A new body made up of solely of muscles, tendons, and stabbing bones is driven by a tremendous energy created by the brown organ that beast inside them. Prisoner soldiers follow them in search of blood through the, the human cities, but only the arch demons have the pleasure of occupying frontline Satan's army. They're the only ones chosen to conquer your world in this time. In the name of the Lord, break and smash my enemies, bathe in their blood, and take pleasure in their suffering. Hey, it's a family reunion! Okay, it's not Abaddon, it's a mini Abaddon. Now hide yourselves. Must take cover or his sacrifice will be in vain. Raise the last of my blood. Besides that, that card. Amen! Now, you are the last, Belmont. Oh, man. There is one other piece, and I know who has it.
The last piece. Hey, it's Pan. Perfect. Thank you, Father. of the first night, the curse of the vampire has corrupted the hearts of the creatures of darkness, tempting them with supernatural powers of subjecting them to their twisted will. The dark blood has prospered for generations and now runs through the veins of the Prince of Darkness, filling each of his actions with ire, hate and vengeance. There is nothing stronger than its influence, except for Dracula's love for his son. It is the last pure emotion he has, his only guide in a world that is falling apart with each step. Defending it means rebelling against his own nature, facing the darkest side of his being. It is a diabolic image of himself that has been fed by Gabriel's enormous resentment of God. Leaving his body and showing its abominable shape, the cursed blood faces its host in an unprecedented fight that will define his own fate and that of his family. I will strip you of your soul! Extinguish your humanity! Shortly after becoming a vampire, Gabriel rejected the sacred relics that he had used to defeat Lord of the Shadow. Instead, he learned to imitate their powers through his in the dark blood. The majestic archangel wings gave way to even greater appendages that grew from his back to take him higher than the air and strike terror into the hearts of his enemies. Be as one! Consume your soul, drop by drop. I will feed on your soul.
You can't defeat me! I will feed on your soul! Try to deny me! I'm part of you! The wrath of your soul strengthens me! You cannot destroy me. You and I are one. <laughs> Everything's all right. I promise I will end this. Father. Don't let the acolyte escape. to trace the power of the Acolyte to that building in front of you. This is the headquarters of the biggest weapons manufacturer in the world. They hold great power over men with influence from politics to economics. It makes sense that one of the Acolytes would be a part of this conglomerate. You have the advantage of surprise, but don't be overconfident. I sense this rival is going to prove most formidable. This is just going to be quite depressing. Yeah. Oh, well, it's going to be it for now. See you now, Just see you Sayonara. Fucking hell.